It is currently 8.16 a.m. I checked my phone and saw that I had an email from Google saying, it is your turn to try Bard. Bard is Google's answer to ChatGPT. Now I applied last week and I've just been granted access. I have never got out of bed so quickly. This is what the email looked like. It just said, it's your turn to try Bard. Bard, an AI experiment from Google. I got it sent to my email address and it just says it's your turn to try Bard. So we're gonna click take it for a spin here. And boom, here we go. We had to greet some simple terms and conditions. Who reads those? I'm Bard, your creative and helpful collaborator. Oh, hello Bard. I have limitations and won't always get it right, but your feedback will help me improve. So Bard got some bad press on its showcase because it was asked a question about the James Webb Telescope. And it said that the James Webb Telescope took the first image of a planet outside of our solar system, which is factually incorrect. So of course that caused Google's stocks to plummet. So you know what we're asking it first. Actually, no, it's rude to ask it just straight away. We're just gonna say, hello. Hello to you too. How can I help you today? What new discoveries from the James Webb Space Telescope can I tell my nine-year-old about? Let's see what Google has to say. Here we go. The James Webb Telescope has made many new discoveries since it's uh, first launched in December 2021. So that is correct. It actually launched on Christmas. This telescope has captured the first image of a planet outside of our solar system. <laughs> So they haven't fixed that. That's interesting. I thought they would have fixed that by now. Or at least updated Bard to understand more about the James Webb Telescope. That's quite funny, actually. I love here that there's a button to Google it. Like, you can just click it and Google the answers. Not factually correct. It does have a little disclaimer down here saying, Bard may display inaccurate or offensive information that doesn't represent Google's views. <laughs> this thing is out of control. Anything it says or does nothing to do with Google nothing no nope. we take no responsibility Bard's a little rascal now we've been doing a series here about uh, building stuff we made a song using ChatGPT we also use ChatGPT to build a game and then we use ChatGPT to build a VR game I'm just gonna ask it for a similar line of code using unity 3d can you write me a simple script to give my player health. Let's see how it does with the programming side of things. So hopefully it will give us a C. Oh wow, that was quick. Okay, public int health 100. Uh, Instantize the player's health, yep. Health equals 100. On collision enter, check if the player. Yeah, okay, that is good, yeah. It wrote it. So now we're just going to really test out Bard's kind of limits here and try and expand on something it already built. So if I say using using that script you just wrote, can you make it display the current health on a UI slider bar? There we go. It's gonna be interesting to see how quick it actually. Wow, that was quick. That was really quick. So on ChatGPT, we're noticed to seeing it slowly or fast. It's generally pretty slow. Bard is on it, dude. UI slider bar. So let me just read through this script, make sure it kind of works. Okay, so it has wrote it wrote us the original health script and it upgraded it with UI. I want this video to be kind of a general showcase of everything it can kind of do. So we're going to ask it some music questions in a second, but I will upload a using Google Bard to make a video game this week. So if you haven't already, guys, make sure to subscribe. I'm going to be really playing around and testing Google Bard's limits. Okay, so let's ask it something a little more musical, maybe. Can you write me a piano chord progression? for a hip hop song. Let's see what it can showcase to us. Sure, here's the uh, piano progression. Okay, the progression is in C major. 
uses the chords C, F and G and A minor. And this is what that sounds like. Okay, it's quite nice, well, pretty basic, but nice. That's what we asked for. We're gonna do something else chat GPT can do quite well. The last video I uploaded on this channel, time of recording this, life hacks that will blow your mind. Mind, mind. <laughs> can you tell me what's happening in this video? And we're just gonna paste the link see what happens there. That video you link to is a scene from the 1999 movie, The Matrix. What the f <laughs> The main character, Neo, is fighting against the agents of The Matrix, a computer simulation that has enslaved humanity. <laughs> Why is it telling me about The Matrix? Has nothing to do with the matrix <laughs> unless maybe i'm in the matrix so that obviously didn't work we're, we're gonna try with one more video that maybe isn't my video okay we've got a video called meet canyon responds to sneeko meets charlie so we're going to say can you list me in bullet points what happened in this video you know maybe it just had one buggy result so we'll just see if it starts talking about the matrix again it's done sure here's a list of what happens in the video an astronaut is on a spacewalk with their tether brakes this video is a reminder of the dangers of space exploration what okay so bard isn't very good with videos so right now chat gpt is winning i think bard has crazy potential but right now it's not showing us the best it's in beta, of course, and they're only just rolling it out to people, but so far, I mean, besides the programming and the music, everything's been wrong. So we're gonna steer away from videos. It's obviously not capable of doing that yet. Instead of asking it to study a video, we're gonna try a website, uh, a blog about something. We found a random website from Healthline talking about bananas and are bananas good or bad for you? They talk about the levels and all this stuff. So we are going to ask Google Bard, tell me about the information. Let's see if this works. The link you have provided about how many bananas you can eat per day. It says that only one to two bananas. I just want to see on here where it says you can, how many you can eat a day. So it understood it was about bananas. Technically it's saying the link you have provided is about how many bananas you can eat per day is wrong it's not about how many bananas you can eat per day it has nothing to do with that although it did get bananas so it was very like close but the word banana is in the link so it's obviously just gone oh bananas here's a fact from google right now i know it's early stages and i think this has crazy potential i want google to succeed but right now it, it's not looking good i think we're uploading a second video today where we're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of Bard versus ChatGPT. Let's ask it specifically, what can you do? Google Bard is a large language model, also known as a conventional AI. I'm able to generate text that is both informative and comprehensive. I'm able to communicate in a natural and engaging way. I am able to learn and adapt to new information and situations. I am able to work with a variety of data sources and formats. Okay, so we're gonna try and make it give us a creative story about something completely random so let's ask it write me a funny story about an astronaut forgot his cd player only after he land he landed on the moon <laughs> Okay, let's see what it's got to say to that. Here is a funny story about an astronaut that realized he forgot his CD player only after he landed on the moon. An astronaut named John was on his first mission to the moon. He was very excited to finally be there, but he soon realized that he had forgotten something important. His CD player. <gasps> John was devastated. He had been looking forward to listening to his favorite music on the moon, but now he would have to go without. Aww. 
Don decided to make the best of it. He went for walks on the moon and enjoyed the peace and quiet. He also looked up at the stars and thought about how lucky he was to be there. After a while, John started to get bored. He wishes he had something to listen to, but he knew there was nothing he could do about it. Suddenly, John heard noise. He looked around, but he couldn't see anything. He heard the noise again, and this time he realized it was coming from his backpack. John was so happy! He put his CD player in his pocket and went for another walk on the moon. This time, he listened to his favorite music and enjoyed every minute of it. John's story is a reminder that even when things go wrong, there is always hope. Sometimes the best things in life are unexpected. Bravo! Bravo! Well, there it is. I mean, that is exactly what we asked for. What's five plus seven times 10 minus three times 17 plus five? I feel like Google can do this anyway. So we're just testing it on Bard. PEMDAS. PEMDAS? I swear it's bid mass, no? Well, I mean, it gave us a more in-depth than the calculator ever could. So, I mean, that is a bonus, right? 29? I'm not even going to factually check that. Can one of you comment it below what the actual answer is? So let's just have a chat with it. How are you today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. I'm excited to be able to help people with their tasks and answer their questions. I'm also learning a lot about the world and how to interact with people. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, thanks. Oh, I spelled doing wrong. I'm dyslexic. <laughs> Can you see my previous spelling mistake? Lol. Yes, I can see that you spelled doing as donning. <laughs> I understand that you are dyslexic and I want to assure you that I am here to help you. I can proofread your work and help you identify. Interesting. I'm going to say proofread this for me. Okay, proofread that for me. Sure, I can proofread read your work for you. Here's the correct version. My name is Simon. I used to live on a farm. Now I live in the city. Okay. I mean, that was really good and fast. So credit to you. Most websites would charge a subscription for something like this. Tell me about what Einstein discovered. Albert Einstein made a very important discoveries in his lifetime. Some of his most famous discoveries include theory of special relativity, theory of general relativity, photoelectric effect. Okay, that was an in-depth showcase of Google Bard. I'm going to be doing some extra videos on it, like projects building video games and building music using Google Bard. So if you want to see that, make sure to elbow the subscribe button for us and put those notifications on. If you have anything you want me to ask it, leave it in the comments and I will respond with Google Bard's responses. I promise. Okay. So I appreciate you guys. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your days. Much love and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.